Hello and welcome to CarPros. Today is a compression test class. Before a compression test can begin, the engine must be disabled so it doesn't start. One way to achieve this is to remove the fuel pump or ignition fuse. Identify the cylinder that will be tested. If all cylinders are being tested, it should be performed one at a time. Note, if all cylinders are being tested and two cylinders test low that are next to each other, the head gasket could be blown between the cylinders. After we've removed the electrical wire going to the ignition coil, we're going to remove the ignition coil. Next, we're going to remove the spark plug. Once the spark plug has been removed, use a compression gauge set to measure cylinder compression. Use the spark plug you just took out to pick which gauge extension should be used. Then screw it into the spark plug hole, only hand tight. Then connect the gauge extension to the gauge. While supporting the gauge, have a helper crank over the engine for about 5 seconds. The gauge will start to climb on the first rotation and continue until max pressure is achieved, at which time the reading is noted. Once the reading is obtained, press the pressure release valve on the side of the gauge will return the gauge to normal. And then next, we're going to remove the gauge extension from the spark plug hole, replace the spark plug to proper factory torque specification, and then reinstall the ignition coil mounting bolt and reconnect the wiring. And finally, after testing is completed, reinstall the fuel pump fuse and close the PDC. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit 2carpros.com.